Now we're going to cover just a little bit of the PFL versus Bellator uh, Champion of Champions uh, event that they held. I Look, say what you will about the organizations, but I respect the crossover, dude. I always respect well, the crossovers. Well, it's not really a crossover, right? It's the same. They're just now consolidating because they bought Bellator. Well, I but, guess you're right, yeah. But it's still cool that they're doing this instead of just like, here's now, we have both rosters now and here's a fight. Um, so it was supposed to be champ versus champ all the way down. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the original card because it was fucking sick, dude. Um, so it was supposed to be Henan Fajeda versus Ryan Bader, heavyweight champ from PFL versus heavyweight champ from Bellator. Then the co-main was PFL champ Impa Kasangane versus Johnny Eblen, who everyone's like, he's the best. He's the best middleweight, maybe the best middleweight out there. But he's in Bellator, so nobody cares. And it's like, oh, I don't know about that. Um, and then uh, Magomed, Magomed Karamov, PFL champ, was supposed to fight Jason Jackson. That's a banger fight. That's a UFC-level fight. That's a top-five fight right there. Um, and then Jesus Pinedo versus Patricio Pitbull was supposed to be on there also, champ versus champ. Mm. Would, would have been so good. And that would have been really good. Pinedo pulls out. Uh, they put in Braga against Pitbull. And then Braga pulls out, and they're like, no. And then Magomed pulls out, and they're like, I guess we'll find Ray Cooper, uh, who hasn't made weight in the past two fights. He just got smoked by Derek Brunson, and we'll fi- we'll have him fight at catch weight against fucking Jackson, who's like a legit, in my opinion, a top top five welterweight in the world. Uh, and then uh, Impa Kasangane still fought Johnny. So it ended up being two champ versus champ fights, which still fun, but yeah, man. Genevieve saying, uh, uh, we watched the prelims, but opted out of paying 50 bucks for the pay-per-view. Well, you missed the best part. Uh, we'll just run through this really quick. Uh, yeah. The the best thing about the night was not even uh, fight related, but uh, Henan Fajeda versus uh, Ryan Bader. Um, they go out there. Uh, Fajeda, I think, has like an 87-inch reach. Uh, something crazy. Ryan Bader used to fight at light heavyweight. Uh, and then he nukes him immediately. 30 seconds in, drops him with that big right hand. Yeah, uh, Rich, if you want to go to the picture where uh, Ryan Bader is throwing a shot, I want to say he's throwing the left, and then the very next thing that's countered, boom, with oh that right. God, that's the fight. Dude. That's the and fight. that's the fight right there. Yeah, uh, that uh, was it. Very cool gloves. Cool gloves. Bellator gloves versus PFL gloves. Got the gold on there. Way better than that's the red and blue actually. gloves that Bellator usually does. Um, they just look kind of cheap to me. Um, but we're pressed for time, so we are going to breeze through this. Uh, Hannah Fajeda is going to fight uh, Francis Ngannou, or is he? I don't know. Uh, they say he will. Um, they give him the ridiculous champ, 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 champ belt is whatever they called it. Um, <laughs> that they were just giving out randomly because they were like, well, all the championship fights fell out, but we have all these belts. So I guess we'll just give them to whoever wins these fights. Uh, Nemkov got one, yeah. even though he relinquished his light heavyweight belt, fought at heavyweight. And they're like, I guess you can have one. Uh, it wasn't even a title oh, fight. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. And then Impa Kasangane versus Johnny Eblen. Uh, Impa versus, I always, re- I always really liked Impa Kasangane. Um, Same. A yeah, lot of USC fans good. mainly know him from the time that he got knocked out, right? Yeah. Was it against uh, Joaquin Buckley? Yeah, the big spinning back, jumping spinning back kick knockout. Uh, Eblen is supposed to be the best middleweight in the world outside of the UFC. Very underrated, but people just don't know about him because he's in Bellator. Look, I'm as much of an MMA hipster as all of them. Eblen is not that guy. Uh, everyone thought he was going to smoke Impa. They were like, why is he even in there with them? Um, he basically won on control, whereas... The second round Impa fucking rocked his shit uh, yep. bad. Uh, dropped him, was cracking him. I I had Impa winning rounds one and two. Um, these were three round fights because it's PFL and they don't know how to do uh, MMA fights. Um, but <laughs> that's it for that. And then the best part was uh, so Evelyn wins a decision, which it, it was. I had Impa winning, but it's not it's not bad. Um, and then the best part is. Sean O'Connell interviews John Jones because John Jones is there in Saudi Arabia and Francis is there and they're fucking t- they're talking to John Jones and they're like, so John wants this picture, dude. Sean O'Connell's like, so John, you heard it here. John wants to fight Francis. Francis wants to fight John. PFL wants to do it. If only we knew what the hangup was or who was stopping this from happening. And Jail's like this fucking guy and John's fucking <laughs> laughing. Like, it's so funny, dude. Go on the PFL's YouTube. They have a video of it. Uh, he, at one point, jo- John Jones says, uh, "Yeah, I want to fight. Beat, I think I beat Stipe. Then I think I beat Aspinall. And then if we fight, if I fought Ngannou, I think I beat him too." And it cuts to Francis sitting next to Mike Tyson. He goes, uh, "In your dreams, 
you're fucking fat. And, it goes away. <laughs> and, and Tyson just starts laughing and they just yeah. give each other a little death. It's so funny. Oh, dude. it was beautiful, dude. But yeah. it was so weird because they're like, so yeah, you want to come over here? You want to fight? It'd have to be something unprecedented, right? And John's like, I would do it. I, I, would, I, I think it's cool. And they're just yeah, like, the part where he's like, stopping this. No, but the, the, the part where he's like, and I want to make it very clear that yeah. PFL wants to make this happen. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, going dude, on at the end, right now. At the end of the segment, Chael's like, you're a great promoter, dude. That's crazy that you just went for that. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> funny, dude. Because they're just like, I love you it, know, dude. it's the UFC that's stopping this from happening. The, but he wouldn't, like, outright say it. But he got as close to that line as you possibly could. And it was so funny because John's just like. Awkward. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. More awkward. That was John Jones having to talk bad about his boss or Brian Ortega having to fight in front of his ex. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. That's John tough. Jones probably uh, doesn't feel as awkward about it after all those text messages but from his manager trying to fuck him over. <laughs> That's currently, Good point. Good yeah, point. he's probably like, yeah, fuck it. I wish I did what Francis did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Well, Instead, hey. I, I signed an eight fight deal for some reason. <laughs> Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.